Ai si è posti? Eh, no okay, so now that I've rescued the box there from being opened by somebody else, my box. Let's get about. Now I have to say this is from Steph. This is a mystery box. I have no idea what is inside the box. For all I know, it could be Gwyneth Paltrow's head, but we shall wait and see. Um so yeah, let's uh let's open the box. What's in the box? So first of all, let's have a look. We can see that's beautifully packed. Always off to a good start. balls probably bubbles and we have lots of noodles okay so we have our first beautiful little uh, gauze and they are labeled which is amazing to see and I will get close-ups of these afterwards so we have a beautiful little cutie mantis there I'll set that there nice and safe um, there's some more packing noodles. This box looks like it's absolutely packed full of stuff and I feel I'm going to have to say a gajillion thank yous. Uh, we have a Budwink which is really good because what I've not uh, said uh, on any of my videos is literally just about uh, two days ago, uh, I've not actually done a video since then, but about two days ago my adult female Budwink Mantis did pass away which is you know quite sad but she has been matured since uh, for quite some time so we have a uh, beautiful bud wing there oh this is like christmas i love i love mystery boxes if anybody else wants to send me a mystery box do get in touch uh, i'm always happy to accept a, a wee mystery box and um, so okay i can see another another net oh this one's this one's a cool, awesome looking thing. Okay, so let's see if we can... Ah, it's a very, very cool, cool mantis. And the advantage of them arriving in these tubs, of course, is that I can keep them in there for a little while. Okay, so I can see there's another tub in here. I'm just foraging carefully. Oh, I've got another couple of tubs in here. Oh, it's going to swear there. What have we got in here? Ah, this is a... Let me see that. This is a, a jumping spider. Absolutely beautiful. I can just see it sitting there on the back of the label. Again, I will get better images of these very soon. This is this is amazing! This is just... Oh, I've got another box. I can see, I can see a tub just down that side. I'm just making sure I've got everything right. I think this is the last one. This is oh what what? <laughs> my, oh my oh my oh! Wowzers! And that is one tiny tiny little sling in there. Okay, <laughs> let's get. Let's just yeah, that's good. That's good. Fantastic packaging. There's still plenty of packaging in there. That's absolutely fantastic. Right, let's get a closer look at all of these. I'm grinning from ear to ear. I'm so happy. Uh, obviously, Steph, I, I, I will be sending you messages very soon, uh, or by the time you watch this, you'll have had the messages. Um, but wowzers, wowzers is all I can say. Um, 
Let's get a closer look at these awesome, awesome, awesome animals. So here we have, if I could get this dang dead thing to focus, the tiniest Lassiodora parabiana I think I have ever seen. Now this is the salmon pink bird eating tarantula, is the more common name. This beautiful little sling could grow into a sort of six, seven, possibly eight inch beauty. So watching this wee one grow is going to be amazing. And there's my finger just to give you some idea of just how small and teeny tiny this sling is. Now I've been meaning, and I don't know if perhaps I've mentioned this and that's the reason this has been sent. Uh, I currently don't own any huge birdie and tarantulas right now. Uh, the largest I have is my Gramasola Porteri, which are about four or five inches. So I, I, I do miss having a nice big uh, bird eater. So I just hope this one goes from strength to strength to strength and grows into the beauty I know they can become. Okay, let's see what's next. Okay, so this wee one uh, has created a web up there. I'm not, it's sitting kind of in the rim of the lid, so I'm not at this moment in time going to risk taking out. It's Hylus diardi. It is a species of jumping spider. It's a very small, oh, I can't, more, I, no, ignore that shot. Uh, there's some fruit fly there, are we going to, no, you're going to run away. But you can see it there, what an absolute, oh, hello. Oh, hello, Mr. Fly. You're going to go for the fly? Go for the fly. I'm not going to take the lid off, um, but what an absolute wee beauty. And I can confirm that as I am filming this video right now, the, the, the person, the Steph, who sent me this package is mess messaging you to find out what's going on. But I shall keep her in suspense. So, what an absolute wee beauty. Okay, so this is our budwing mantis, as uh, I mentioned in the earlier bit, sadly my adult female budwing mantis has passed away. Uh, they reach a nice size, these mantids, relatively easy to care for uh, and are just absolutely beautiful. You can see uh, the budwings in some of my other videos, so I won't loiter uh, on this one for too long, but they are absolutely fantastic. I may do... Uh, I sort of learn about as I've done with the the scorpions and the uh, the false widows. I may do a sort of learn about mantids video because I do find them absolutely fascinating and they're beautiful, beautiful animals and such a variety. But let's see what else we've got. Oh. Okay, so this is a Papa Spurka, also known as the African. Oh, nice bit of filming. African twig mantis. Let's get a wee closer look. That is an absolutely beautiful. I've never kept these before. I'll need to. Uh, I'll need to do a wee bit of research on how to keep these. But what an absolute beautiful mantis, and what amazing, amazing cat! Look how twig-like that abdomen is. That is one amazing, amazing looking mantis. That's me. Uh, obviously, you've got your ghost and your dead leaf and stuff that have amazing camouflage as well. But this is just awesomeness. I wish I had like a camera that would actually just show the amazingness that is the uh, this wee twiggy. All right. Oh man, awesome. Okay, so this is I think if I correct pronunciation, Sfrodo mantis. Sfodro, Sfodro, lineola. It's an African mantis. Somebody can, at some point, I'm sure, correct me on the. Uh, my pronunciation, but we all know my pronunciation, such as oof, is uh, somewhat comical to, to some. Uh, let's see if we can get a wee closer look. The colours on that are absolutely beautiful. We've got this amazing, amazing vibrant green, and then down the back there, this beautiful markings and a kind of reddish brown colour. What an absolute, again, another species I've not owned, or currently don't own, well, I do own now. But what an absolute beauty. That, those markings, there, that's stunning. I cannot wait to watch this one grow into adulthood. Because that is just 
amazing. And I just, I just don't think cameras necessarily always do justice for uh, for many animals until you actually see them for yourself. Okay, the video has gone on uh, a wee bit longer than I'd intended, so I'm going to really wrap it up very quickly. Uh, if you're looking to buy any mantids from Steph, uh, you can find her on Invert Sales UK. It's a Facebook group. Uh, I want to say the biggest heartfelt thank you, Steph. You are an amazing person. Um, just absolutely fantastic. Thank you ever, ever so much. And thank you to everyone that watches, subscribes, likes, comments. Uh, please do recommend the, the the channel to your friends anyway because the video is a wee bit longer than normal i am going to wrap up be good be kind take care uh, thank you once again uh, steph and to uh, just thank you um thank you very much thank you bye-bye for now bye